Uh, hello, gamers. Welcome to the uh, Prem Grand Final between Coffee Clock and Butterfly Effect. Apparently, we've started already, although I'm not sure what's happened because Hertz has trolled everyone. So I think that's messed stuff up, but I'm joined by Ivan here. How are you going, buddy? And of course, in typical Ivan in fashion, I've been dogged again. Apparently, I'm not very loved. Is it? Apparently, it's 1 0 already to CC. What's happening here? Okay, they've they've literally won around in three and a half minutes, and now they're they're holding last. I oh, know, butterfly effect holding last. Guns gone. Welcome to the uh, high level production, boys. Sorry about that. I assume it was probably just a roll. This is looking. Yeah, apparently it was. They've gotten the force here at last, at least, even though they had to sack three people for it. And they should be out of force, it's pretty easy. Moop's already out on bats. And face, yeah, got behind. We're already back capping. This should be really bad for CC, that's kind of stuck. And apparently they literally just walk out. Yeah, solo cast boys, let's go. I think they were a bit too passive there, they kind of did nothing. And then Faith and Spader both died, they have no gun either now. Right, just gonna bomb in down, die straight away. Both Sully's on point. Of course, right gets saved by an arrow. 2-0, this is gonna be a quick one. Apparently, yeah, apparently Ivan might have OD'd. Dreamboat's asleep. I think we have Essence here, if you can get unmuted. Hey man, how you going? Hello, I'm supposed to be analyzing, but I can assist Don't you. worry, mate. Can't You're a champion. Out. How do you think current one minute we've been able to what? Um, it's been a bit of a uh, one-sided affair so far. Dog girls died this mid again already. This is pretty tight, though, I'm assuming, compared to the other mids. Moop might clean up here. No, killed himself. That's unfortunate. It's just down. Yeah, down win. Yeah, I think, um, Butterfly Effect need to uh, do a better job of protecting Dogrel on these mids, because he's dying pretty early. Is, is Wright doing a big bomb? Yeah, he's I, doing I, a fast bomb. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't in the STV the whole time. Has he been doing that every mid, has he? Uh, I haven't been in for the first uh, okay, time, but what I've seen, yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello, Ivan. How are you going? You, you missed, they, good. We, we've been trolled and they started early, so you, oh, really? you, you've you done your big shit at the wrong time once again, so glad, glad you can make it. String, man. It's it's literally 2-0 coffee clock already, so you, you missed a quite a lot. Basically just stomped a lot. Under both time. Send me the string helmet. Is that a crit? Yeah, oh, that's bad. Oh, oh, that is five bad. Oh, that's literally probably the best crit Kurt has like literally done in his life. How did he actually get five kills Close on it. his own? That's pretty amazing. It down ruins the game for everyone by denying the six frag. It's another uh, easy run. Quite depressing for yeah, space. Even the uh, ride can this bit. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised they picked this map because Ride hates it, but apparently he's pounding, it seems. Mm. It should be interesting to see what he does. If he does just big bomb. Oh my what? They just tried to walk on this and Dog Roll just did two yeah. I think. Wow. Yeah, I I feel like they're a bit tilted at this point. Yeah, it's, it's always it's... been really good at his golly wash rollouts, so he's always been able to get all this huge spam out nice and early into the enemy's big door. So Dogrel just ate like a pipe and a sticky or two and just insta died there, along with I think it was Faithless. So they just lost two like before they could even climb, they were like they were still stuck on four. Yeah, so we're looking at like full out again. Yeah, well, at least they, they have their energy this time, so. Pyro's been pretty fat here, uh, he does die to the double scout, guns down, Redcoat killed himself, but they still got his cap here, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad, the Uber wasn't that good, they only got one kill and the gun, and Redcoat 
probably sticky trapped himself or jumped or something. Nah, he then died they... to a trap. Ah, oh, said he killed himself. Yeah, and he then died to both, the both scouts and the medic literally just cap point and no one can get to it in time. It's pretty unfortunate. The medic actually survives five seconds into the smith, so that's a pretty good start. And Yule goes down. Double bomb now as well from right, Butterfly. The he's still Total alive, boy. He's still floor, alive. So he's not healing. They, they should win this. Oh my god. Spade jumps, kills himself. Player runs in and dies. Instead, of, It was a 3v2 and they YOLO'd instead of going to dog roll. And so they, they somehow lose that mid. Doggo That's... was super disconnected from his players. Yeah, like, after like... that ride bomb and Noob died, he didn't really have anyone with him on the floor. I mean, like, it was faithless. 3v2. They didn't have to jump the combo and be super aggro there. They kind of threw it a bit. Yes, but it's a really hard fight to take though, because Spade was on the other side of the floor, while Doggo was like on next to his big door. And faithless was on point. Like, they were all so split up. That's I feel sure like clock would have if, if they're not anyway, losing 4-0 in 9 minutes, then they probably would have won that though. I feel like they would have thought about it a bit better and like gone back, you know, to their team. Yeah, they're definitely rushing some players that... At least, at least now they have even Ubers and they're not stuck at last. So they yeah, might not get completely dunked on, hopefully. Looks like Copyblocks is rushing the flank. Yeah, someone's in behind, it's probably yeah, down. 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 They do end up trading, and this is Moop's done a pretty good oob when they just bullied them out. I don't think they can really do much else though. Just full reset. No, it was I getting into a choke though, bombs dog all, but it doesn't do much. Yeah, it's a pretty hard bomb, they've done pretty good damage. Faith's just gonna sack here, and it gets out. Oh, that's... 100 damage sticky, that's quite unfortunate. I mean, it shouldn't really matter. I'm really hoping we, we see the epic uh, your spy play. Damn, down goes down play. as well. Dog roll dies as well behind. Looks like Butterfly Fifty's gonna try and push it through. Did anyone see how he uh, died there? No, I didn't. Spade's gone through under. Moops literally just Spade's going at it. Yeah, they, they went for it, but literally didn't hit Lao once, so that's a bit depressing. They did the typical uh, Xeno play, didn't really work out at all for them. Now, 4 nil down with 11 minutes gone, and Uber just had at last. How do you think they're feeling at the moment? You mean Cookie's team? Why would they bother? Yeah. Just play the lead. It's full out though, and they've ubered it now. Moves dead instantly. They're going for the double scout again. It's not really working this time. They get absolutely crushed. They still might be able to clean it up, but they're taking big damage. Yeah, they they throw that a bit yeah. just because the last time they no one was near the point. That time a soldier was basically staring at it, and so both scouts got cleaned up. Red Coat and Lau are going all the way to last. They don't care about this, but they just get cleaned up. sat on. They were really slow for some reason, or maybe they probably saw them and waited for it. I guess they have to play super safe at this point though, I guess, because otherwise they just lose. That's a really bad force. He's basically full health, and no one else was there, and he uses... I mean, they still have maybe... No, not really. Like, 1% add. Cookie's sniping. Big yeah, but it goes from kinda they should be basically have a free mid to another style mate where they'll probably eventually Cookie will eventually pick a soldier or someone just peeking. Doing a bit of the troll troll cam here, Cookie, spinning his bad reactions there, completely misses. Cookie's literally, like, 12 minutes into the grand final, he's already trolling. This kid is so up himself, honestly. What do you want to see our fly effect doing here? Do you think they should just be waiting at 4 nil down at second? Oh, see that? There we go. Ray's just dies. Do you think they need to be singling in here? 
I think I have to wait until Cookie gets a bit further forward if they get like aggressive. Dogrolls in a great spot here. Like he's perfectly mm. perched up. Like he's not gonna die to anything. I guess that's the problem though, he stops looking for a second and he forgets that his team needs to be Ubered as well. Yeah, but now he's fallen down, so it's like his escape will be way well, harder. Rocky actually just pounded Lau though, and Down's on one health, and should die to race. Yep. Yeah, yeah Rock Rocky actually carried that pretty hard, he like jumped in and pounded, Down survived on one, and he killed yeah, he the medic. a million damage. That's the Rocky pocket we all know and love, even though it's a now. They've actually taken mid for the first time. That's a good start. So now it looks like Down's having a go at Sniper. See if he can hit one more shot than Cookie. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't really Cookie's fault. Uh, I mean, he hit zero down. shots during the post Uber. Like, how can I mean, oh, that was more pipes. Go, wow, that was fat. Right's on the mid as well. He's. Oh my. Is this. Is this. Uh, Rocky Incarnate gets lucky. Yule actually saved Riot from being rocky there on Gully. Riot actually missed so many shots on the med. Yeah, that turned around like really quickly though. I'm not sure how they lost that so badly. Yeah, Moop looked like he was owning there. He hit like a really nice cute little midi onto um, red coat and like when long Lau died instantly as well, yeah. Yeah, he like clonked a pipe onto Lau's head, but like the collapse came from like choke coming from a big flank from right and big door. And kind of just sat red on the combo. On the sniper. Surely he has to swap off now. Oh Moopinator stepping up for the team, gets the double kill with a trap. And they should they just need to play safe here and then take mid. Yule's in though. Oh he gets ah, wow, that's a nice pipe. Right gets the consolation kill but should go down. Pretty slop. I mean, Coffee Clock won't mind that it's how sloppy it is because they're basically just wasting time. But they, they probably are considering they were four 0 up pretty easily on Snake the last couple of okay, oh their last game against this team and almost choked. They might be a little worried here, like at how sloppy they're playing now. Yeah, it's nearly full out for um, Dog Roll as well. So this is the best opportunity uh, they've had so far. Right does get they the They do force. get forced straight away though, be cool. I mean, Cookie's still gonna die here on Sniper, and they're, they're in behind them. Redcoat does as well. He yeah, Faith well is on the Medic. Down and Lau are literally completely abandoned here. I think they're just waiting on an Uber, are they close? Oh, no, they're not close at all. They need one score, no. It's really weird how Faith is taking this by himself, like where's his team? I guess they're going to last. They're already capped, so they're, yeah, there's two they're just going to last. Yeah, it so does look like that was really, really sloppy though from Coffee Clock. Like, they knew Rai was going for the force, he gets it, but they're literally just not in a position to run away, and they just get stuck and all all get cleaned up. And from there, it's just easy. Who are watching this mid boys? I'm gonna watch Red Coat. They both right again. get there around the same time. It does look like it's about an even trade off. There is a little bit more damage spread out onto the butterfly effect close than on coffee clock, but now the aggression's coming in from butterfly effect and they do clean up both their sol both of um coffee clock soldiers. As Ray's is coming in for the flank, kills down and runs back to his heels, but coffee clock need to get out now. It's just Cookie and his med. Cookie Cookie up himself thinks he can take it, but yeah, runs out eventually. I mean, I he, think he does want to fight this. Like, both yeah, soldiers are sporting now. They can definitely hold this, I think. I mean, he can't. Yeah, that's oh, oh loud, loud. 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 Yeah, that that's kind of what sparked the comeback last time. Lau probably didn't Uber for what was it? I've been like eight minutes, like four, four yeah, fights in a row. Three consecutive or Ubers. They do are super aggressive here. Rocky will go down. They are getting kills here. Yule's on the medic. Yeah, they they did frag hard here. Dogroll might survive. He's a pretty fat sir. That was a really nice self out of Yeah, Ray's has to get it to him. I mean, he should live here even if he has to run all the way back to spawn. Nah, he'll get forwards. Like, they're up in Yeah, I'm, I'm into forward spawn. The thing is, that was really good in the end though, because he basically didn't get any ad, and they still took the point back. They are just going for it though, which is pretty ballsy. 
And yeah, they. So it's not double. Yeah, kind of. The, the, this is basically a repeat of that mid where Redcoat just shot like two shots down the stairs and just got a triple kill. Like, yeah. They basically it all just set up, set up for that push, and they still went for it. Like that's kind of desperate. Cookie does go down to move, and he might get the kill. They should hold this at least for a little bit. Bit of a shit fight, but yeah, they they are starting to go down. They probably won't get spawned. They are memeing it for a bit, but yeah, five one. Yeah, that was like, that was like really desperate play. I know they were three rounds down, but I don't think you needed to like basically take a mid fight where you had zero positioning. I think it could have worked, but Wright was just in such a good position that he just like everything that walked in through the door, he just did like was he in damage the pedo bush? Was he? Nah, he was in like next to elbow, so he had like a perfect sideline. It's a big door. Oh, that was guys take it down instantly. Let's just play on that medicare. Doggo's taking so much damage yeah, there, he's only 40 health. Yeah, Doggo's gonna die here. I guess Rocky did get hit instantly, but like the rest of the team kinda was all just on top of each other. Yeah. So Lau gets... just dies, but then they get Xenoed on and all die afterwards. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, they... they don't really have a response to just getting collapsed on by Coffee Claw. I think like it's just... They, they just kinda get out DM'd a bit. Yeah. And then they just don't, they just don't have like the mid positioning down. The control point is being contested. Like, yeah, I, I think I should, oh, I think should definitely like, just, uh, like back up once they go the mid there and just like. This is a crit streak by the way on Lau. Well, like I think if they back out further, they kind of had to leave mid. Like yeah, I feel yeah. like at that point, like they shouldn't really expect that Rocky will insta kill the mid. Like they need to make use of like the Rocky distraction to like push scouts and demo mm. across the point. Rather than just watch Rocky and say, yeah, good job, Rocky, you're really good. Great effort, there's champ. A... Sorry, Elmo, but there's a full crit streak charge now on Coffee Clock. It's against a sentry, though, this time. Goes for it anyway. It's a bit cringe. He kills Moop, Moop it's and kind of Spade. Pretty... Dies himself. Yeah, but they I have, mean... like, they only have Yule now to kill the sentry gun, so I think they're just gonna back well, that, they... in a second. They like, have... there's no way they can that as well. Yeah, full this out as well. Second versus last, last is way harder. The last one was second, no gun. This one, he basically just has to YOLO snipe and... I mean, Dogra was in a position that he could have hit him, he just doesn't. Yeah, Butterfly expects are taking a long time though to push out. Like, all I mean, Coffee Clock have got... Coffee Clock have got all their spawns now. And they're like yeah. really well set up. It's still against their crits though, so like if they can just get... If they go through the yeah, little door, they should crush still. Yeah, they have done. Or... I, f I guess they get the scout. Uh, they're all the way speed. out. Yeah, moves dying. As well. Yeah, I, I feel like they, they well. needed to like pogo a solly through, I think, or something like that to make it. So they have full crits again and no sentry left. They're going for it. Cookie crits, no red coats on it. And that should be the map. It's a 3v6. Cookie does get basically let to die instantly, and it's a 1v1 on the point. Yeah, that's but yeah, they clean up. I mean, not as convincing in the end as they probably would have wanted, but after watching that, it's still kind of hard to see how Butterfly Effect will be out of our class on the other map. Yeah, I think they should have pushed out a river there, just so they avoid the stick and whatnot, but oh well. I mean, so like, like you said, they, they probably could have done it quicker. It's Sunshine again. Are you excited yeah. to watch the fabled seven man sack? And I mean, I'm excited to watch the, the epic Gil Spire plays, honestly. Should be epic. Shall we look at some logs? Yeah, I was finding. I mean, I'm guessing Red Coat pounded. Like, half his damage is probably from that one crits, but that does a lot for you. Yeah, he got 453 DPM with 9,500 damage. Is, is there is... a way to tell how much of it was from the crits? It was from I... the third round here. Yeah. Something like So on the third round, he got 1,600 damage, which was one, which was 1,000 damage more than the next player, which was Moop and Faithless. 1,050, yeah. He still would have pounded, but like, that is... 
I mean, yeah, he'd probably just be around 400 then. But yeah, that's still pretty, pretty pound game. I mean, Moop didn't do terrible. It's just he kind of got like completely outclassed. Yeah, he was hitting some nice pipes, but like, what do pipes matter when you're just getting like flooded from the skies with f scouts flying at you and Yule and Riot? I mean, I feel like the, the main thing is kind of just the mids, though. Like, they won one mid, and they didn't even win that round. And then five of the other rounds they lost were basically... They lost th within three minutes of losing mid. So it's like... They obviously just didn't have that map down at all at mids. What what round was Gullywash played in? I think it was pretty... Early in the season, wasn't it? it was yeah, like so that week three or four, something like that. Might have played teams that they're a lot better than, and so didn't have to try too much. Basically, no one really had a bad game on Coffee Clock. Like, Wright died a lot, but I guess he had to sack all the time. Or, like, Spade kind of had a really negative KD. But yeah, basically, Redcoat actually just destroyed constantly. He probably just pounded the mids. I mean, he did take 35% heal, so you you would hope he would pound, but... That's still a yikes. So what do you think they need to do better on Sunshine compared to this map and compared to Sunshine last time? Any thoughts, um, Ivan? I think they're, they're taking the... Like, the fights early on are going great. But after they get the initial, like, pick or two, they're kind of just getting caught out by, like, these flankers. Like, they're doing this death ball, which is, like, five people in the combo. But, it like, with five people, you're leaving your flank open. Because you're not taking an, a 6v6 fight. You're taking, like, a like a 5v4 fight or a 4v5, right? And you get those initial picks. So it'll be, like, a 3... So it'll be, like, a 3v4. But, like, that one is going to come through your back and just sit on your butt, like... Riot did in one of those flanks where he came through big door into choke, and the collapse from the from height from red coat and Yule just oh no not red coat from um I think it was down down and Yule just like owned them on the second point, so like they're taking these fights well when they know they can take it, but it's just like after those initial kills they're getting a bit flustered I think. I feel, I feel like that they, they don't really have a plan at all or like what to do after the initial ones like they don't really have any positions where they want to fall back to or like anyone kind of telling them to relax and you know come back that kind of thing also i, I found one of their their gully wash games they won it was against misha which is like the code and team they won seven two but they lost five of the nine mids so like considering how much they win by that's pretty bad midwise so Gully mids are obviously not their thing, and they didn't really improve on that or figure out what to do. Basically, their downfall here. Yeah, I was just gonna say they need to um. We are live. So who are you gonna be watching this mid? I mean, it's interesting to see if Rocky can fast roll out. So I'll, I'll watch him to start with. Ah, oh, he doesn't even try. How boring. I don't think Wright didn't do it either though. What won them this mid last week? The last game was the Rocky and Spade bomb, so it'll be interesting. They do. Rocky is pretty close to Lau. It has choke a bit and dies instantly. And Spade didn't really bomb, which is a bit weird. Red Coat is just crushing this fight. He hits a little pipe on Faithless, and get, but gets Arid right back up straight away. The heals on Coffee Clock are a bit scattered though. Like. But I guess Faithless and Spade play a bit out of range of dog rolls, so Coffee Clock do take that fight. And yeah, I mean, I feel like they should have Coffee Clock should have won that ma uh, mid a bit more because they were kind of five v three up, and then they lost a bit in cup two, like being a bit scattered. But like in the end, like you said, every mid basically ends with Cookie and someone else with uh, Lau, while every mid dog roll is basically running off by himself. Oh. They are just going for the YOLO trade here. They do kill Spade instantly. And I mean, Faithless will die behind, so this is being a 4v6. They really need to get out. Dog rolls like half health as well. And oh, on. <laughs> Move kills Cookie. <laughs> but he does go down in the end. So this will probably just be go straight to last and win. 
I know Coffee Cup just like aren't respecting them at all oh and it's working. God. Lol, bye. You will just triple Rocky coming through that doorway, but it does look like Coffee Clock have taken a lot of space regardless. And yeah, that's the round for them. Yeah, like they literally just like aren't respecting them at all. That was just like same play as same Uber, walk in and we know we're gonna win, we'll out DM you. Yeah, that's I think a map that's really good for Coffee Clock honestly, because there's so many points, like every single point on this map can you can take a dry fight on. Like as well, soon as you have the space, there's like there's no way that Coffee Clock should win these fights, like just I, by pure yeah, out I feel like the other team just felt confident because of how close it was and their mids worked well. Like they do the bombs here, you'll... They didn't really get much from it. Loud does die to raise though with dog roll somehow. And they're gonna make a mad dash for the exit, but I think they're gonna get flanked here. Yeah, like you said, right? Right's just in behind them a fair amount like there and he just cuts it off completely and nothing they can do. I, f I feel like the last time they played this map, the bombs were a lot better. Like Rocky and Spade were landing on Redcoat, crushing him instantly and hurting or killing Lau or Cookie within like two minutes or two seconds. Yeah. While this time it's like Rocky and Spade are just dying alone. Yeah, I think um, like Coffee Clock are reading this aggression really well though. Like Spade tried to jump into their cafe, I believe. But like Dan was just perched up on the roof and got a lot of early damage onto him before he even landed. Yeah, I think we talked about this on they they banned Snake this time, obviously not confident, but the main problem with the butterfly effect aggression on Snake was just like rather than actually bombing the players, they were just bombing in behind. And like Coffee Clock just took that as a sign to, you know, walk in and kill the other people while their sullies did nothing. I mean didn't that the exact thing didn't happen last time. Okay, yeah. so th this time they go for the overaggression and get punished for it, which is good of good on them. Yeah, Redcoat died to a trap there. Dog roll gets forced out of right. True. So it does look like. Oh, okay. So Coffee Clock do take. The they do drop right. a lot of people though, so they they should have to at least go back to their choke a bit. Rocky's kind of stuck though, and he'll die. Yeah, I w was Spade stuck behind there? Because I'm not a, really a fan of that bomb otherwise. No, I think, like, Dogroll was just too far back from where he needed to be. So, like, Faithless and Moop wanted to go back in, and because Rocky was already in. And I think Spade was... No, Rocky was stuck in, and they wanted to go off that before the spawners even got to there. Just the all of it. Okay. Yeah, he was more <laughs> forward enough to take the fight. You're going for the Tempest play, and he gets crushed. Always nice to see a Tempest Gamer destroyed. Yeah, I, I think it, like most of these fights are just... Like the positioning and the team cohesion is just a lot better from Coffee Clock. I mean, that obviously makes sense since they've been together for... Two seasons at least. But yeah, like... Like you said, Spade's kind of just bobbing in on his own and oh, where's the team? Nowhere, and they just lose the fight because of it. A bit of a meme gun just goes down to Riot. I assume Riot will just bomb in here or down or run in or something. Yeah, Riot bombs yeah, the you, you, but Yeah, you'll die as well to the gun. I mean, that's fine. They should be able to back out. I mean, they've done this really well also. Coffee Clock, they kind of bait them into doing bad Ubers and then crush them. I assume they will this time they just sack Rocky not wanting to get baited out and he not surprisingly doesn't really get close. Yeah, I really like this actually, out of Coffee Clock. They're playing to the, pow to the speed of um, their forward spawn timers, because it's relatively short, and with Sunshine having so many doorways that they'd have to clear out before like getting pushed out, or before pushing out, it buys them enough time for Coffee Clock's like two soldiers to spawn in time. Like, so even if Butterfly Effect do take the trade like out onto second, both of Coffee Clock's soldiers would be there for the post fight. Sorry to interrupt you there, champ, but we have a soldier main on spy. This time, sadly, it's not uh, Yule. It's Riot. How be often do you see the Riot spy, though? I don't think I've ever seen it. He's normally a sniper nerd. I, I wonder if they'll do the Yule jump while Riot distract play that I know they want to do. And I hope it'll be good if Yule uh, pays back Riot by trolling him and not doing anything. Oh, he's actually going to get dog. Oh, no. 
Oh no, come on. Oh my god. Dog roll like crouches down in a corner for some reason and he misses. It was still there to be hit and he cringed it quite hard. I'm surprised Yule didn't bomb in there though. I think the the idea I was told last time was that they distract and yeah. one gets the pick while everyone watches the other one. They were poking top right a little bit, but there wasn't any hard commitment. Coffee Cook just ubers straight in onto the sniper. This is a... I mean, they do get the force, but it is a bit cringe. Cookie should die here, but somehow walks out without taking a single point of damage. And Moop gets dunked on by... Right, this is just going to be a push in top right. They have to be really careful. Rocky and Ray's are both crushed here. And this should be around if the healing's good. And yeah, it is. Yeah, so literally Moop just dies and then it kind of collapses from there. So how would you say... What what do you think Butterfly Effects have to do in this next mid-fight, Elmo? I mean, if they're gonna go with the soldier aggression, they need to do it at the same time. Like, they just... And I think they need to actually bomb Redcoat, because Redcoat in the end just ignores them. Cookie and Loud just clean up. Like, they lost... I mean, they lost Loud that time, but it didn't really matter. That, that time was a little better, because they, like, at least Spade kind of distracted for him. Like, ev every mid kind of just ends up being a shit fight, and that's not really what Butterfly Effect won. That's because Coffee Clock could generally, like, believe in their DM and know they can win it. Uh, I feel like they need to try and make them, or maybe they think they're maybe the only mid they have a chance of winning other shit fights rather than trying to be cohesive. Like these really scrappy fights where yeah, they well, all go take separate one v one. Every fight just ends up being a one v one off, and in the end, Coffee Clock has slightly better DM, so they always win, you know. At least the Soldier Bomb kind of worked there because Rocky was only a second or so after Spade, and he had some nice rockets to finish off Lau. But I feel like if they just like went the full on whole team aggro, you know, if like if they want a scrap fight, do it right. Just throw both solis at the meta demo and have your whole team throw themselves across the point. Like Dog Roll will definitely die then, but he's dying anyway, so who cares? And you might actually kill more people than they kill you. Because in the end, it's just like both solis from both teams are just dying, and then you know it's a shit fight that Coffee Clock always wins. All right, what do you reckon Coffee Clock are gonna do? Are they gonna do? Hey, I'm gonna say it's gonna I be eight, eight gonna... minutes of bombs. And dog roll. Oh no. I mean, okay, at least they double bombed there, so butterfly effect will have to do something. It does look like they're going through Valley, like trying to take this two soldier advantage. There's less spam, so they're gonna see how much space they can get in. Uh, but... They need actually. Oh, they should. Oh, they shouldn't have gone in there. Rocky would have forced if they just let him jump. So, I mean, in the end, this is just going to be like a no Uber fight, which Coffee Clock will be pretty happy with, I would imagine. Like, they haven't really taken any position here either. Razor's just going to die. Right does die as well, and Rocky's done a pretty fat bomb, but that's a great pipe. Saves the day from Redcoat. Yeah, the, the thing, like... Okay, Cookie gets aggro and dies like a noob as well. But yeah, the, the, these fights aren't really, you know, doing anything useful for, um... What's the face butterfly effect? Like, they need to be Ubering second, like, way after. They end up Ubering, like, half a second after for some reason. And then, you know, the, both Sullies are spawned by then. And as I say, that's Spade Pencil jumps and kills the Medic. Oh, he actually got pencil surfed and killed the man. That's a bit unfortunate. Do, do you agree with what I mean? Ivan, like, they're yeah. just singling for the point of singling and not really getting any advantage out of it. Yeah, they're, like, they're using the Uber, but they're not actually getting any flashes out of it. Like, they're not extending their Uber to yeah, get any Yeah, they, they don't flash, they don't take any good position, and then not... Ubering second, so like they're just doing it because that's kind of what you're meant to do, right? Oh, we have player at, let's go single. Yeah, like 
If you look at the Ubers that like Faithless is taking compared to the ones Cookie's taking, Cookie's getting like three flashes out, two to three flashes out every time he's taking an Uber. But Faithless and Dogroll kind of look like they're just hanging around. Like they're taking these fights, but like they're not opportunistic ones. They're just, like you said, they're just doing it for the sake of doing it. Like they're not seeing three really players come there. together and getting and like forcing the medic to flash. They're just kind of using and seeing how it goes after it, trying to wish for the best with their post tubers. I think either Dogroll needs to like bitch pop less, but like needs to uber later. Like that fight, like the single before they ubered half a second later, but it's like who cares. And that fight they get forced. They need a force here early. Rocky's just spamming Cookie. He is gonna bomb. He gets oh he gets Goomba Stomp. That's unfortunate. All the soldiers are bad at the game, can't hit any middies. They've actually moves actually cleaned up with the spam here. Surely Butterfly Effect need to do something here. Like they would they're two down, they're just gonna let them take mid. Oh no, Spade will bomb and does somehow get the force. Lau, on a half health Lau. Lau was like jumped off and like messed up himself, but at the same time landed on like three stickies or something like that. I guess it, oh, Lau does die as well. I mean, they, they should be taking this for free. They shouldn't even force. They just need to play safe. Like wait, wait for these solo bombs to go off. Walk into it for free. Like it wouldn't be, I mean, Ride's dead, but down should probably still try and go for a backup or something here. I assume Yule will definitely bomb for this. Yeah, down does trade, which is good start. But they're, they're just gonna let him take it. That's a bit... Ah, oh, meme trap, okay. Now they're coming in, waiting for the meme trap. And Ray's Dog gonna... so far back. Like yeah, he's... that's like that's basically like you were saying. Dog roll stands way too far back. Yeah, and then he... he does a lock in the end, Uber's nothing and just has to run away. Like after Faithless's death, they kind of just straddled around for a little bit. Like they didn't really take much ground, there was no like forward aggression or like retreat call, they kind of just like stood on point trying to hope for the best, but like with Coffee Clock's player ad, they kind of re-aggressed and killed all these like medium to low health players that Dogroll wasn't healing because he wanted to preserve his Uber. But gets forced yeah. anyway. Yeah, now they're Uber and Faith should die here. He survived way too long because of arrows. They do eventually get in, they're just starting to cap. They have lost a player, or no, Faith just joined the wrong team for some reason. But they, yeah, shit fights always seem to go coffee clocks. So wait, no, the Pyro and Race clean up. Wow, Race with the 4k and they bring it out in the end. I feel like, yes. Yeah. Red Coat, like how coffee clock are winning these fights is like they're taking the um, post fights onto um, red coat cookie here, but there wasn't really much around where um, cookie was fighting. Like red coat was sitting top right while the postie was like top left side, and red coat was just sitting in lobby on four health. Like he couldn't really do much, but that's okay, what their yeah. like, but that's, that's what their like win condition is. Just taking these heals on red coat and cookie. A bit, a bit of incohesiveness there. Let's raise, get out of spawn, and that he that heavy survived for too long because arrows are OP, and so they basically use the whole Uber on getting one kill. Dog roll, yeah, surely gets forced here. And the, the, the thing is, like, Butterfly Effect are trying to save all these Ubers, but it's not working at all. And Moop just gets spammed, so like, they get forced and they're not even gonna get take mid from that. And they're just gonna wall move instead, just gonna take the no uber fight here. Roma's trade out, but Coffee Clock's totally fine with that. Spade will probably die as well, yeah, and race. Like you were saying before, I feel like they're kind of just going through the motions of what they should be doing without like really knowing and where they should be and what actually to do in those situations. Should fight again and yeah they lose it. Yeah, Coffee Clock are just making it a really hard time for um, 
about a 5 act to get through these choke points. Whereas you see, like, whereas Coffee Clock are just having way more ease, like taking these post dry fights. Yeah, I feel like they just need to, like, probably just do the same strat as Coffee Clock and just death ball a bit better. If they want to play safe, just five men on each other. Rocky, they, yeah, that's that's a pretty decent bomb, except Raze dies to the bomb at the same time. Move does clean up a bit. In the end, it just seems like Coffee Clock was, is just going to win all these shit fights where they just double bomb and fight. I think it also has to do with the way that Coffee Clock are playing around their soldiers compared to Butterfly Effect. Like, a lot of these fights, like these mid fights specifically, um, Yule and Riot are living. Do we have a pause or am I lagging? I'm assuming that's a pause because Cookie's still flying in midair. Continue, it's just a pause. You were saying about the soldiers and all that. I'm in. Hello, sorry, someone came to my room. Um, yeah, like I was saying, like Rocky and Spade are just dying immediately into these fights, taking, like, sure they get a trade of like one or two kills, like that fight they traded Rocky and Spade for both Lau and Redcoat, but at the same time, after that, that just immediately triggers a Xeno fight from the side of Coffee Clock. So do you so, think they should bait bomb more? Because I don't think that works for them either, though. I, I feel like if they that should happens, bait bomb, they're, but... they're, I feel like they just need to deal with Yule and such a bit better then. Yeah, like, but they can't overcommit either, like killing Yule, because that's what Yule wishes for them to do like he loves taking these like he loves bringing three um players eyes onto him to bring make space for red coat like they need it red coat's not making getting any space though because he is just dying like they they're both they're kind of just both doing their own 4v2s and it's just in the end coffee clock wins the 4v2 their dm's better after you know it's, yeah but it's not a matter of killing red coat it's just keeping him at bay because, like, as soon as you let him, like, have point presence, the fight's, like, it just becomes ten times harder. Because, like, Yule's going to be sitting on move, so he's going to be having a harder time shooting the point. But, like... I don't really think Redcoat had space that mid, though, and they still got crushed. Yeah, like he you didn't have space. Like you said, their Solis, like, Riot and Yule somehow just lived while Rocky and such didn't. And you think that's just because where their bombing is better? Like, you think the bait bomb is the plan this mid? Like, is where you should be going rather than the YOLO bomb? This is Snake, they kinda YOLO bombed last week and it didn't work, while YOLO bombing this map did work last time for them. I wanna see them just try take a side though, and play... Just and play try, a normal mid, you try, mean? Yeah, and try give Moop space, like give him point presence. Cause that's what Coffee Clock are doing, like they're... They're just giving, they're letting Yule and Riot like take up ground, like either in Valley, like their Valley or their own, or um, Butterfly Effects Valley, and just playing on that side and ha giving Red Coat point presence there. But like the way Butterfly Effects are playing, they're just like throwing both their soldiers in and praying for the best. But we're, we're unpaused and Faith dies instantly afterwards, and Yule kills himself, but it's the trade anyway, so that'll. I think my point's a bit messed up, but there we go. Is that a full ad? No, it's the Ethan Ubers, but... Hopefully we see an epic Yule Spy play, or at least a sack here from Coffee Clock. And yeah, Riot's in way too far. Med's been destroyed, and Cookie does finish him off. Like, they really shouldn't be letting that happen. It's a bit too easy, you know? Like, Riot just walks in and then Pogo's all the way over to the other side, or whatever he does. And then everyone turns around, Moop and someone else forgets to watch, oh there's other players on the other team, and Cookie walks in and one-shots the med. So it does look like Coffee Clock are going to take a full uber push into Butterfly Effects class while they do have an Engineer and Sniper set up. I mean they did get forced pretty early, but this gun's really cringe. It's gone instantly and Redcoat has his preferred top right spot. 
I feel they just need to play it safe here. Yeah, the. I mean, the hold there wasn't as good for butterfly effect, but I think that was. It was better, like, cohesion. Like, Redcoat really just wants to, after the Uber, sit top right and do nothing but spam the point. And I feel like Cookie just needs to sit on him to let him do that. Instead of, like, trying to hump the spawn doors and stopping them getting out when that's not what Redcoat wants to do, you know? Like, let someone else do that or cap the point. So, is, is this an epic meme mid? that not even coming? Oh, so oh, I think the they pause they put... gave them yeah. rebar. But Lau used, like, Lau used, like, through on the rollout, but Doggle didn't, so they rolled out with rebar. Oh, all these, all these cheating medics, it's like Homer's back all over again. Wait, what happened with Homer? I don't remember. There's a High Highlander. When you know when you couldn't pick up mediguns, he picked up a medigun and Highlander. It's, it's where all the noble Harvard memes are from. From him losing his shit in the match thread. Oh really? Yeah. That's where our boy Noble Harvard's known from. Shout out to Noble Harvard. El, your number one fan. Yeah. Are they? What are they doing? Come to mid tomorrow. Some of you are all right. I think they might just start again because yeah, they're memeing hard. Yeah. That's probably like, fair enough, just set the time to 10. Yeah, but the other team They just wanted a mid refight without... on mid. They didn't fight mid though, because Coffee Clock just walked in. No, they used, but Doggle held, like he wanted to but what, it was, the Uber. It was a mid fight, wasn't it? Because the round just ended. And no, Coffee Clock they... just took it. No, they didn't have a mid fight, because they both had Uber. Like, Lau yeah, used while I know, that's out, why they're resetting, whatever. It. Yeah, that's why they're resetting. Well, so what do you want to see the Solis do then, or, or them do? Just take a side and play it passive? Kind of, yeah. Like, the passive... Because what's happening now is, like, they're sacking both soldiers. Like, it's not working, they need to switch something. Like, Rocky insta-kills Lau by himself, which is great. And now they just need to set up the camp their choke. Make sure they don't all die. Hey, I don't know, that was kind of a weird mid, because... Normally the coffee clock soldiers would kind of aggro pretty hard as well While Yule kind of jumped in by himself there Died instantly like he didn't get a good position at all and then Riot jumped in didn't get a good position at all and died instantly As well as Rocky actually killed the med and like that time he pulled the team so far back that they had no chance Yeah, that was pretty strange like somehow Rocky gets a free kill on Lau and doesn't even really die to yeah, way Yeah, I, I, I feel like that was more Coffee Clock putting too much effort into Rocky and Riot not bombing with Yule that lost him that one. Just because there was literally no pressure at all on uh, Butterfly Effect so they could just stand there and shoot. And Rocky bring half them back. I mean, this is a pretty cringe Uber though, they get fucked in the door. I don't think, are they even going to get a kill? Not wow, that is horrible. It's it's like this stuff. If this is like the you know that Uber on Snake where they had like 30 seconds to cap last to tie it and they cringed hard. Oh yeah. That one or to make it two two and Lau's not gonna even die or force. I mean they had down down a lot. I think they just have to reset up though. Like they have to wait yeah. until like, yeah they will have to wait for everyone to, to be. They, like, did they see them coming under though? Like, they must have poked out really far to get seen, because Reko was totally ready to juggle that hard, because literally no one got in at all. And didn't get a single Not kill. Entirely sure. I feel like that's why top right is normally pretty strong, because it's kind of impossible to stop you getting in. Uh, Cookie's been dropped here though, which is a good start. He will not be happy with that one. They're just gonna sit up though. Like it's yeah, I mean they they gave members. they gave them second, which they'll be happy enough with. So they they can't be too mad. I don't get why they haven't done anything with Cookie being dead though. There we go. Spade gets crushed midair and you'll get nothing. It was a pretty nice air sticky. Rocky might die. Nah, no, he's good. I mean, Riot or Yule will probably just bomb. Yeah, Riot's in. 
Dogroll does take a big rock here, but he should be good. They really like that kind of bomb where one of them fakes and the other one tempests in. I think we're, we're at the point like a of the game. pretty standard play now. Yeah, we're, we're at the point of the game that you were looking forward to when you first saw Sunshine Ivan. The soldiers take turns trying to show how big their dongs are and how many fat minis they can hit on the med. Yeah, I can't wait to see 30 deaths each and all the soldiers. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping we see the Yule spy. The right spy wasn't really much better. It does look like Butterfly Effect are trying to like reposition themselves into flowers though. Maybe force some form of I mean, positional be a rotation. That's a, I mean, I don't mind that like Paulson did this where you just soldier behind and he gets a kill for it as well. He does, Cookie does read him though and gets there, but they've taken heaps of space from this. Cookie will die. They do take the single. I know well, in the end, what the is, can do with I mean, single. He, he's actually done something with this one though. Like, he chased the scout that got the kill. You should die here. He's got some pretty good rockets, but dies in there. Yeah, in the end, they do sing, sing, uh, single there, but he actually chases someone down instead of just like eyeballing the Uber. And the one, the main thing was they kind of had already positioned before they singled. Like, they didn't have to single to get through the door. They'd got him through the door, and the, sig the single was to like bully the other team out. We actually have... Oh, Rockstar on Rockstar Spy. Mac Let's go. Spy. Where is he at? He's under. He narrowly dodges a spam rocket. And he has infiltrated the coffee clock what? back line. Oh, he's using the invis watch. He's not a scrub. I think he should have been heard there. Oh, no. Oh, he's cringing. Oh, he gets it. Oh, my God. This kid. That was best util incoming boys. the best Spy play I've seen. I don't And if, that was if, a single backstab. If Down had Rocky level sound, he would have heard Rocky. Moop is cringe but they somehow don't kill him. They finally get the gun. But they haven't really... Dog Girl goes for the point? Okay. And wow. Probably one of the worst last fights I've ever seen. Like, Moop jumps in, is un for 5 seconds, takes 10 damage. And then Dog Girl tries to solo cap the point, doesn't die. And like, in this time, no one's basically in the face, just caps the point solo. Great fight, boys. Going into this next bit, what do you think's gonna come I out mean, of the I mean, they're playing effect. kind of, Rocky just goes for it. He gets, I mean, he's pulled back Cookie, but he gets crushed. But I mean, this is kind of just turning into a shit fight. There's so I, much damage on the coffee clock side though, like, everyone yeah, is I, so hard, except Redcoat, the little baby bitch. I mean, Ride will die here, Race dies as well, but they are cleaning up. Ah, uh, Cookies, oh they got Uber? What? I mean, they should get Uber, but that's, that's really unfortunate, because that was, yeah, like you said, that went pretty well for them. This is, I, I, oh my god. What do you guys do? Why would you Uber there? They were... Oh my... So give us your hot take on that one, Elmo. Actually, oh. I'm gonna ask Essence on this one. Essence, now, why I'm do you think I'm cringing inside. Oh, um, look, I think Spade would've called that solo because he thought they would've been all close to choke, but like... Is, is that your professional talking? opinion or your cringe medic main opinion? Uh, a bit of both. But the medic's never wrong, so... But like, fair, how fair does enough. he expect to catch Lau there when... Even if Cookie yeah, was, like, even if like, they Honestly, were next to each other, like, Laos needs the self Wow, one they bucket, literally walk in and kill Lau, though, just then. Never mind. I think, Lau like, Dog Roll sort of just dropped the spade and just kept I mean, they're still gonna time. lose there, because, like you said, Wright's always behind, oh, yeah. and just walks in. <laughs> he does get it's always pan, then Cookie will bait and finish him, move off. Does get piped, but. Alert. The control point is being contested. Yeah, they uh, they just have so many bad Ubers like that. Like you can't be using there. Like why do you, they even go in there? Like you said, how are they expecting to ever force? Like even if they kill Cookie, it's still really cringe because like they'll never get to Lau. And they go for the shit fight. They do kill Lau, whose positioning hasn't been great this map. But like in the end, they just get Zenoed and thumped. I kind of want to like. I want to see the uh, raised sniper because I think that's one of 
butterfly effects strong point holds, so maybe if they're like struggling, they, I think they should bring them in. I mean, at, at, can... this, at this point, they've already lost, is it 4-0 now? Or 4-1 or something, four one. yeah, 4-1, right, they won this round. I mean, at this point, it's too late, but yeah, it's interesting, they haven't really tried to off-class, even though, like you said, Ray's Sniper's probably... And obviously, Rocky Spy is one of their strong points. Moop dies, top left, alright, somehow. Okay, Cookie does die for it, but they're still gonna go in. It's like Red gets going into trade. Yeah, I, I feel like, I just don't understand why, like, Dog Roll singling here. Like, did they really need a single? They have a pyro, surely the pyro can bully them out. And like, yeah. Raze dies afterwards and they're just gonna walk in top right. Right does die left, but they've taken so much room. They are getting a bit crushed here though. I mean, I feel like that, the yeah. Uh, I, I don't I, think they deserve to in reality. I mean, no, that was more coffee clock flank got bullied when they really just need to like wait, you know? Once the other team turns around to look at your combo, you can come in, but right, right and down both go in a bit early and die for it. They, they escape with that one, despite some uh, cringe as they say plays. Now, now we, we see the Ray Sniper with one minute left. Maybe he's been listening to this epic cast and uh, knows what the fans want to see, Essence. Indeed. I think it'd be uh, a lot more crucial with product, which is notorious stuff about. Oh yeah, they picked that. That's interesting. We have 50 seconds. I, I feel like the teams, they obviously know it's over now, so they're, they're kind of just memeing. Oh, that's disgusting. Redcoat kills Faith during a dog roll uber. Yeah, I think dog roll's like a bit unsure of like when is the appropriate time to use in certain fights. Like that last um, that last fight just before, if you just like allow that pirate to deny the uber, and even if that pirate died, they would have had full uber that they could have used to either like preserve if the fight was going well or just collapse on them with. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that. Like you said, I think a lot of these fights he's. I I feel like he's not getting a strong uber call. So it just yeah. kind of seems like it's like, do I need Uber? Do I need a Uber? Kind of thing. Are they they might actually get around here at the end. Yeah, they do. But it was game over anyway, so who cared? Yeah, this is interesting to see the stats. But yeah, products a pretty interesting pick from Coffee Clock. I feel like the dominant team normally avoids it just because it's kind of a different style. Yeah, and it's especially kinda... with like a uh, strong utility on the other's team. I do think Coffee Clock are pretty confident in it though, just because their soldiers are like, they're pure chards and they do, like they don't mind product. Like as much as soldiers do hate product, they don't mind it as long because it's like, they know how the team plays around it, so they don't find it that bad. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure on Spay, but I I think it's probably Rocky's worst map apart from Process. Looking at, at the stats for like the 4 0 cookie and like red coat basically just took him to the cleaners. Like both top damage, cookie doubling like his damage taken, both having 21 frags, down pretty good cleanup as well with 16, while the top frag was raise on 15, but basically didn't do much damage. So yeah, they basically just kind of got, like we said, shit fight cleaned up and uber, uber cleaned up. Yeah, I think one thing with uh, Butterfly Effect is, like, they're not really being proactive in, like, um, big team fights. They're just, like, waiting for Coffee Clock to do something, and then they'll, like, respond to that. But I don't think they're, like, really thinking of the steps ahead, like, within the fight. Yeah, exactly. They, like we said before, like, most of their singles, they're kind of just going through the motions of this is what we should be doing in this situation, but not, like, actually thinking through where they want to go with it. like. I don't play combo because I'm a noob, can't think that hard, I just sit on my flank by myself and retard at people. I've, I've been told you're meant to think about where your ubers are meant to end and that kind of thing and why you're actually singling and it just doesn't seem like that's happening at all. Yeah. Well, like it's pretty clear from like he singles, you can see where he wants to end, like who he wants to go for, that kind of thing.
Yeah. Looking at the 1-1 one, one, like stats, they're kind of the same. Redcoat didn't really get any kills, but top damages and then Cookie, yeah, following. As Incrum Girl Bird uh, says, just Cookie following Redcoat around and stealing kills, as is typical. Hey, uh, I mean, question for either one of you. Who do you think needs to pop off on Butterfly Effect to win this map? I mean, if they're going with the Sniper, it has to be the Sniper. Yeah, they I don't know if they will. I feel like they're not going to outscout them just because Cookie combo scout is just better. Yeah. So I feel like Rocky and Spade kind of like need to have a big game. I know it's kind of hard on Via because it's not really. It's kind of just Solly jumps in, Solly maybe kills someone and dies map. But like if they can cause chaos and let Moop do his stuff. Because, I mean, Red Redcoat has played really well, but this is probably Moop's, like, best season, and Vi's, like, a map you can kind of to show how big your dick is on demo. So if, like, Rocky and Spade can pop off pretty hard, Moop and the Scout... I think historically, though, Moop hasn't done that well in product this season. Who did they burst? Uh, let me check. Time, time for him to step up. Zero counts. Because like I, I feel like yeah, Cookie's Cookie's always gonna be better, like than the other two unless they like go insane. And then Down's obviously always solid on the flank there. So it's like if the Sollies can just create chaos and out chaos the other Sollies, they might have a chance. Because if if they just go for like if everyone else kind of just goes equal, then I feel like Cookie will lead Redcoat to victory kind of on like on that map. It's like, in all the shit fights and all that, after all this analysis and stuff, it's still probably just, like, Cookie and Redcoat as a combo have been stronger. Yeah, that's just like coming down to DM, most of the fights, anyway. If the Sullies can, like, maybe even the odds a bit outplay Wright and Yule, hopefully Wright and Yule aren't too effective while they're, they're pounding and making every fight, like, a 4v3 against Cookie, Redcoat, and Lau. Like I said, it'll be, be interesting because I don't think Rocky thrives on this map. No. I think Rocky can do things though. Like, if he gets a like, deep bomb onto the enemy cliff and he isn't dealt with, he does he does get away with way more than he really should. And it's Does like, he get that done on this map though? But that's only if he can get into the get onto their cliff and go for those deep bombs. If he can't, then it's he doesn't really do that much. Yeah, I mean, but it, it does be, have potential. It would be good if, like, they can just have Rocky forcing Cookie on patrol. Have they started? They have. It'd be interesting to see if Rocky kind of tries to just make Cookie fall on him all game. You'll land Yule. It doesn't kill him, but it moves very low. And then Riot's just on top of him. It kills him, don't worry. Man. So this is obviously a, 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 a win mid for Coffee Clock. Does that was... We need to see if the Xeno does come out of Butterfly Effect. I mean, they have got does... some kills, but Rocky will surely... Oh no, he's the bitch, but they're all low. Yeah, that time it was basically just the Tempest coming out from the soldiers. Like, Spade and Rocky hadn't even thought of what they were doing yet, or decided. Crit's Creed comes out of Dog Roll. Spade and... I mean, Wright and Gul just pogo and kill everything. Kind of an odd choice, because doesn't the other team just have Uber? Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess they might I think just they're going, going for the um sack wave. Yeah, I assume they should. Rocky dodges the trap. Oh, oh that drops. That. They're actually all pounded here if Move can hit one more shot. Sadly he can't. But yeah, that's that's actually kinda of bad though, because they're now on crits when you don't really wanna be. Yeah, it's a little strange because it's like like you said, like at this point, they could pretty much have Uber as they're pushing out. Like, once they get capped, they'll have full Uber, but instead now they have yeah, three well, like, times damage. The sack wave, it's like, you either end up being crits versus Uber, or you just have crit sad, which is why have crit sad when you get a Uber ad. All eyes on Moop, see if he can replicate the red coat. And he cannot, that's unfortunate. 
And Dog Roll actually dies during the crits, that's the problem as well. It was a bit of a strange crits, like, I don't think Moop and Dog Roll were, like, on the same page there. Because Moop was, like, forwarding while Dog Roll was, like, still sitting pretty far behind. And Dog Roll used before he was even latched onto Moop. I mean, Moop wasn't gonna, like, that was really far back and Moop just missed anyway, though. Like, he could've hit him and just... Lau just managed to like skittle, scuttle away quick enough. That's kind of why there's no real reason to go crits there, so pretty odd decision to start with. Maybe they're thinking their sack wouldn't work and they would just be able to surprise onto the Uber. They aren't doing decent in this shit fight. They do get a three kills actually. And they got the uh, Dog roll out. has survived, yeah. So that's pretty good in the end, I think. I think they that was kind of like they. Point. Yeah, they were thinking about wanting to take that Uber and then like kind of forgot they needed to uh, not have half their team die. Bit of a team cohesion mistake there, which Coffee Clock haven't made many. They, no, they do. They an Uber though, so they need to either yeah. back up or send the soldier in to kill Lau before he gets Uber. I mean, they do I Uber mean... into them though. Where is Lau? Lau's. Oh. He does. Was that move? That was pretty fat. The greatest. Yeah, can confirm. They, oh, dog has been abandoned. Surely Cookie dies here, yeah. Oh, that was fat. Nice shot by Spade. Midi's Yule. So, I mean, they, they kind of needed to like, snowball this to the end, because Coffee Clock got two minutes. But they, they do have the shit fight opportunity before Dog Roll gets Uber. Two minutes left, that means there's like there's still two possible Ubers coming out of Lao for Butterfly Effect do take this round. I'm not gonna even let them get it, they're just gonna shit fight and Dog Roll gets kinda caught out. Yeah, that's really weird, like they weren't really holding in a good spot there. Like they weren't really they were kinda mid between we wanna fight, shit fight them and we wanna hold out till we get Uber. And so Dog Roll kinda just gets caught in no man's land and dies. And now they they kind of they're against the Uber basically. Lau's eight percent off, and then have thirty seconds left. So literally the worst thing that could have happened to him. And Rocky's dead already. Oh, that's wow. Moop is actually a god. I mean, they all die for it, but that's really kind of silly from Lau. Yes. He didn't really need to. They could have just killed them, and then probably like forward hold it or just. One yeah, at the same fight. time though, there's only 10 seconds left, and everyone on Butterfly Effect died for that. And they're yeah. not even gonna get the Subar. I mean... I have to like, play the point now. They will get to it though. Dog Roll does die, but... Yeah. I, I mean, that they. I mean, it was still kind of like they all died for it, but there's no real difference if Loud drops or Uber's there. Like, if he Uber's, he's alive for the push straight away, rather than you know dropping. It feels like they're not like fo like they're not calling focus fires. Like they're all shooting different things, which is just a like, huge downfall for them. Oh, right. So sniper. race is. Yeah. So yeah, race needs to pop off here. Otherwise, it's just going to be cringer than before. So hopefully, this is Highlander hacks on. Very nice stuff. Yeah, he basically just hasn't done enough. He might kill Med, but probably not. Alert. The control point is being captured. Lau gets body shot. Yeah, I, I think if you're going to snipe against a team like Coffee Clock, that's like going to see you and go, oh, we need to go hard, boys. You need to be more kind of proactive. Because he, he kind of just played the passive angle like he was playing Highlander expecting another sniper and just waited for the body shot on down. But like he kills down, but like then his whole team crumbles around them because you know, don't have another. You're basically just down a player as well. Interesting, Spade has gone on to his other main scout. So they're, they're kind of fully invested in this sniper, at least for now. Spade, Spade's taking on the roll of Pocket Scout. Oh no, not roll. The drop move. Yeah, that's really bad. And Ray's will die, so we can't even do meme stuff during it. And Dog Roll's gonna die as well. That was a really, really strange Uber. Like, they went for the trade on move, but Dog Roll didn't even catch move. And, move and then they kind of do shit sucks as well. 
Yeah, they just, they just don't seem to have, like, their singles figured out at all. Like, their uber ad pushes have been alright, except for those one or two really bad ones, but... They just, when they single, it never works at all. No, not big fans of the spade scout and chat scene. And they do have a shuttle. Yeah, they do have a chance for Raze to go big here. Let's move, finish up Cookie, and yeah, Raze is dead, so. I think that prob. Oh, Loud does die. Almost too long. But it's just those two. Like, Coffee Clock do have the potential to clean it up. Yeah, Dogrel so may die, no. I don't know, I don't think the scouts, I mean the snipers doing anything here. Like they do win the shit fight, lol Rocky. Gets pinned, man. But yeah, the sniper didn't really do anything, like except someone had to go kill him, but... Apart from that, they didn't really do anything. Cookie somehow survives and Faith dies. Yeah, but Riot does trade for it, but that's worth. So yeah, Race has only got it one kill, which is not great for like, sniper on this map. Yeah, well. Does kill Cookie Next. though, which is good. I don't think they're gonna yeah. get anything else out of the Sweeper though. Like, and they're so far forward. Yeah, the thing that's gonna land on the top of it. It's kind of weird because they're kind of playing like they don't have a sniper, if you know what I mean. Like they're playing how they normally would, but just they just happen to have a sniper too. Because they're not, they're not really defending him at all. Or oh, Faith going for the sneaky. Surely this doesn't work. Oh my god, it will. Oh no, he no. That's a bit of a choke. Looks like a new Elmo play to me. Yeah. Shit talk me when you win anything, Ivan. And I Raze does. Raze is bullying Cookie a bit, but they need to actually defend him here. Like he's constantly dying when he. He basically just doesn't get a chance to snipe. He probably will die here. Oh, he misses Yule, although. Should finish him still. Unfortunately. Because Lout Lout, they are giving him opportunities, it's just his team isn't really defending him that well. Oh. Rocky died. I thought the medic might have died, but it was just this falling sound. Moop just gets retarded. Yeah, they, see, like, they're just not really playing around their sniper at all. Yeah, they're kind of just, like, playing normally and then hoping he... Kills everything, yeah. yeah. But they need to, like... Uh, not protecting like, him at all. Yeah, like, exactly. Well, like, he... Him, they leave him on China or something, but they don't actually have anyone there to guard him. Like, yeah, if they're like, going for full sniper, they need to go full sniper. They... Mook was kind of playing normally, so Cookie just rushes and kills him while Raze is on the other side of the map and just dies. That'll be interesting if they, they are, I feel like at this point they're kind of like, the other team's just better, we kind of just have to hope. They should yeah, just maybe, go... Maybe if like Raze like plays with the combo so they, they um... Well they just they need to play to, like... full sniper, just have, yeah, fucking yeah. put their scouts on bats and wait for the jump. Oh my god, that's that. Down! Come on, man, don't stand still in the sniper. Like, this is what they should be doing. Like, right goes for it, just dies. But Moop, Moop still dies somehow, though. But they should still win it. Reko gets it dies. I feel like they need to play a bit safer here, though. Like, why is Spade going for the fight? You know, they have a sniper, just wait and let him shoot. Like, that went better just because both scouts realized they had a sniper and actually defended him. But Moop still, like, dies for it. And that's really oh, well. bad play. That's a Paulson. Yeah, there's What's a sniper. Can you elaborate? It's on Viaduct. You forget there's a sniper. Oh, oh my god. Bad middies. See, this is kind of what they need to hope. Play around the sniper and make him midi and body shot him. Yeah, back to the, the Paulson as you walk up grass in a straight line, assuming the sniper won't hit you. But the sniper has a monitor and a mouse, so he does hit you. And what Lau did that, just walked on grass and died. Yeah, this is kind of what they need, him just be doing damage after damage, even if it's just like body shotting Cookie. And yeah, they, he, he managed to survive there, a bit lucky. Both sort just behind on Rose. So yeah. Well. I mean, if both of them die for it, it's not too bad, it's just... Are they going to clean up Rose as well? And save, oh my god. I don't like... They shouldn't get away with all those kills. 
I mean, Lau does get a bend. Oh, Lau gets chased to all the spawn, but right's behind again like he was on the other maps and all clean. I mean, it's fine. If they have to double bomb to kill him, it's fine. They just need to actually kill the go back and yeah. kill them. Yeah, they don't need, don't need to aggro there. Like, you have enough time on the point that you can let the other team go to the point and take it. Just kill both the Sollies and you have a 5v4. Like, that's good for you. You don't need to ignore the Sollies. Ray's kind of dies again, at least trades, but... Probably just have to wait till he respawns before right to push. They're getting close yeah. though. Yeah, they are bitch fighting fairly well. Cookie gets body shot there. I don't think Rocky needs to be that aggro. You have a sniper. But in the end, it does work. And Race hits uh, not a shot again. That was a nice fucking surf as well. That was fat. Yeah, that, that deserves a cheeky taunt, mate. Nice. They are playing a little bit around Raze a bit better, but it's kind of more just Raze is hitting people. Yeah. The Rocky Heavy is up. So it does no, look like they so want to really just try park it. I don't know how it'll pan out though. It's still one and a half Rocky minutes. I don't think Rocky should be Ubering like, here. I don't get why yeah, he's sitting he here waiting for Uber. Uber. Like it's one and a half minutes. That That's still I enough mean, time for Lab to get another bad, Uber. But he shouldn't be expecting to get Ubered. I mean he is just waiting for the sniper. Rocky's just going to get a spend in here. Too. Yeah, I don't agree with that. If you're gonna play heavy, you kind of just need to sit on the mid rock and like wait, like hide and wait for the jumpy boys. But he just stands there and gets spammed and dies. Yule will die for this. Oh, he gets the kill though. How is Yule alive? They need they to kill Lau before like, Lau he gets should die. Yeah, he'll definitely die here. 97. Yeah, yeah that was a bit cocky from Coffee Clock, assuming they would have and they didn't and they just got crushed. I mean, it's good Rocky swapped off, thankfully. Ryan should die here. Yeah, nice shot. It's kind of a bad play from him now because he's out of sync with the team and they just have to waste like another 10 seconds waiting for him. This will be the beginning of a comeback for Butterfly Effect. I mean, it, the problem is it's kind of hard to keep up, you know, sniper. Like, unless you're sheep, you can't really keep it up for four rounds. And then their team's kind of, they did, got crushed there. They didn't really deal with the aggression. They gotta wait for right. How nice. Butterfly Effect don't mind this though, because they do have a full Uber now. They only need to play the point. And, but they have to kill Lau with the Uber. I mean, they don't have to. If they insta cap and they bully them out far enough, Lau will die though, and yeah, they. That's good. They need to get back now. Just, I like, mean, it's basically impossible to lose from here. Yeah. I, th I think Lau, would, they were kind of banking on the, on the fact that they might be able to, like, run around the Uber and get it. Because otherwise, the other team just walks in and caps yeah, but anyway. That's, that's like a hell of. I just think the thing like, is, you can't running back around out, the Uber. You can't yeah, go to spawn though, because they just cap and win. Yeah. Well, you might have just enough time, like, Lau, but probably didn't Lau's want to risk it. Lau's 97% Uber. Alright, wait. Lau's died like... Four times this yeah, game. Lau like does. three times this game on 90-something Uber. Yeah, Lau does die a bit too much, but that's probably more on Cookie and all their positioning though. I mean, Wright goes for like the instant pogo and dies for it. And so does Faith and moves hitting wrecked. There we go. I think Coffee Clock are a bit, like, they're a bit surprised that they're all out solely aggression on the sniper isn't working. So they're kind of, like, not really sure what to do. I think, um, Butterfly Effect are finally playing, like, as a death ball, which is, they, like, what they need to do with a sniper, and it's finally paying off. Would you say they've come together as a unit? I w yeah, I'd say so. Not, like, perfectly, but I think they're doing it better than the first two rounds. Rocky might die here, but... I mean, the problem is, like, here they kind of just let Rock Race die. 
Like, Cookie's not even Ubered here, and yet he's behind on full health, and he's gonna get two kills. Like, that shouldn't be happening. Like, they know he's hind, and yet they just let him get away with it. That's the problem with the sniper, though. As a Cookie You, you and, only uh, have Rocky yes, to it's, deal it's with him, because you want both your scouts in the post to bar. The thing is, he like just on the sniper though. Like, surely someone can just. They need to have someone there with him. Rocky's just walking out as pyro. Okay, let's let's go, boys. Rocky time. Well, he must have been expecting a fort hole. But... I guess so, but it ended up in cringe. Rocky still oh, got just the a, block. Uh, I mean, they still like Ray's hit a nice shot, so it's three v three. So they should be able to like. And Lao dies, so they should be able yeah, to go out there. Else. They should play slow and make sure no one gets onto a dog roll. Apparently, it was a fat shot as well, according to chat. But yeah, yeah it's hiding they... in the house, so if they don't spot him, that could be pretty dangerous. And yeah, they all go left, which isn't a great spot. Your cookie yeah, should I mean, die just here. Double shots, yeah, dog roll. yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, they can still, if they just play it well with this knife bar, yeah, Redcoat walks yeah. into the line. They can get a cab easily. If someone jumps out now, he just gets body shot and dies. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I know, yeah, one health on the med, and Rocky just walks over and shoots him once. Lau Lau's kind of getting a bit abandoned at times, or no one's calling where the sniper is for him. So either he needs to, like, think about it more, or someone needs to be telling him that. Cause like he really shouldn't be being abandoned there. They are, they're going for the double pogo and race kind of walks into it. Yeah, they. That was kind of just bad positioning. They all. They are trying to death ball, but you can't be standing on top of each other in the one spot. Like they didn't really even aim there. They just all jumped in and shot floor, and it worked. Yeah, I think the scouts on Butterfly Faith weren't really like they didn't have hideouts, so like they couldn't really be done by soldiers. I feel like they, said, they should be using China and like the bats more to yeah. bully the Sollies down with the sniper. But they're kind of just sitting on the normal spot. They have Ubered here, it is pretty bad though, when Lao's not gonna even. Oh, he gets it as the Uber goes off, and they should they clean don't even up. Know, they don't use yours. Yeah. Oh, oh, they, they do use though. I mean, Dog Roll might die. Yeah, oh, that was pretty nice by Redcoat. They probably. Did, he didn't even need the Uber for that though, he could have just jumped and killed him anyway. I mean, it's not that bad because they'll spawn before Redcoat does, so they might have like a quick window to come in. Nah, they're all a bit slow, so. I yeah. think they're just gonna have to hope for Ray's hitting something. Well, they're, they're just gonna shit fight because Lau won't get Uber yet. Rocky does trade with Riot, who's kind of getting behind, and Down's going behind as well. Moop just dies so often. Lau will die as well though. Cookie what just is... runs in and kills the whole team. Is is no one like with Moop though? Like surely Cookie can't be that far from that he shouldn't die when doing that. Like how does Cookie kill fucking Moop and Josh? I know he is a little MG nerd lord, but he's not that good. Well I think like Rocky was- That's just the thing with the sniper though, like you have to you have to give a little leeway on some ground. Like you're your soldier can't solo watch like concrete because you want he wants to be next to your sniper shooting stuff that's forwarding. I think right, race hasn't been as quite it's been pretty good, but probably not as good as last round. I don't know, maybe Moop just needs to play more passive then. Like surely he can run away and spam and or some shit so Cookie can just walk at him. Loud dies there then, but 10 seconds. It's first to three, right? Yeah. For the final, last fight. Lau's dead. Yule's so low. They need to win this. Faith goes for it. We'll get crushed, but uh, just looking like, like Prem Life. And that's it. Coffee, Coffee clock. clock. Two time reigning champions. Our boy Dawn would be very proud. So, yeah, Coffee, Coffee Clock, as they have been all season, just a bit, bit too strong. The cookie red coat Lao combination stepping up for the boys. Ray Sniper did do some pretty good work, but not a bender level, so just couldn't pull through. But cookie and red coat.
already waiting on interviews, keen boys this time, wanting to tell everyone how good they are. Alright, so is that it? Are we cutting the stream in like a minute or so? What do you mean? Gotta to, got to get our interviews in, champ. Alright, so just before we have interviews, do you want to go through logs real quick, Essence? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, having a done. quick look. I mean... I mean, they weren't too far off. Like, the damage is pretty close. It's like only a thousand and a half or so, and seven more kills. Yeah, I'm just noticing that, like, um, I don't know, Moot was kind of just getting, like, left at times, and obviously you can, uh, like, do as much damage with that scenario. Yeah, Moot kind of got crushed if you, like, like, he didn't do that much damage, and look how much damage he took. Like, yeah. so many heals were, like, pumped into him it didn't really work out. Came out yeah the sniper was solid but like like you said it kind of has to be amazing yeah that's be all or nothing really a cookie not doing as much work as i thought he did but like down down absolutely dominated that map as well yeah, I think the uh, the scouts just had on Coffee Clock side had just had so much space, which was um, provided by their soldiers. So it was just good cohesion on the whole team, and as a result, that was fate. The, fate uh, for not having a great scout, like seventeen for twenty two and two sixty nine DPM is kind of not great. Yeah, the scouts. That's a bit bit unfortunate. We we do have Cookie and Redco to be moved in. They are still muted, but we'll. See how how you boys feeling about that one? How you going? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, good. It's good to hear. Um, you guys sound hella depressed for just winning. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> pumped, man. Just, Let's just, go. A, just another day. Just another day in the office, mate. For Cookie, no, yeah, no sweat, was... boys. Yeah, it wasn't K too difficult. Kmart's hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know Essence was gonna be here. Hello. Well, we, Dreamboat fell asleep, or you drugged him or something, yeah, so... Yeah, good. What? You heard me. The but like he wasn't here at all, or he was... He no, left? He, fell, he literally fell asleep. No meme. I see. But how were you guys uh, on uh, Gully when it looked like you could be uh, doing a snake order from last time you versed these guys? Any... What did we do on Snake Water? Oh, we were cringe. Yeah, you we almost like... fucking lost because you started being retards and retarded a yeah, lot. Yeah, it almost came back. Yeah. I think uh... I went snipe for a bit and then I didn't hit anything. Yeah, typical. I say, so, were you worried about that on Gully or oh, no. or, or, or cool? Um, I don't think we ever collected. thought we were going to lose Gully. I was very yeah. confident all of Gully, pretty much. What was Gully a team effort? Because I, I mean, team decision. Because I thought Riot kind of hated that, but you did look pretty dominant, winning like I think almost every mid. At least, like, because I'm main calling, so my two favorite maps to play are Snake and Gully. So I guess they banned Snake, so Gully was just naturally the other choice, and I'm just most comfortable on it. Fair enough. What what did you, what did you think kind of was the main difference between the teams tonight? Because there there were lots of. Oh, I'll wait till Cookie gets back in. You move him in again. Welcome back, Cookie. Uh, so Sorry, just accident. Retard, typical. Can't believe you're good at this game. Ah, uh, back to the question. What, what do you think kind of the main differences between the teams were? Like, there were lots of kind of sloppy fights and kind of singles and such. Why do you think you guys came out on top in 90% of those? Honestly, like, I'd say the calling would, would have played, like, quite a large factor. Like, I've, I've murked for that team in the past and... There's like people saying stuff, but there's like it's a lot less of a defined like main caller role than I think I have within the team. So I think having that central calling structure is probably quite useful, especially in like messy fights where medics go down and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that was well, pretty. I just see no into them. Yeah, we just death ball better post Uber. Yeah, there's a lot of times where um, it seemed like uh, Butterfly Effect like didn't really know what to do next in the mid fight or just in the team fight. Sorry, and uh, Cookie, you were pretty proactive like post Ubers, so I think that was partly what you're saying. 
Yeah, you are probably right, but Mr. You, Analyst. You, you, you feel like kind of like last season's grand final where you dominated the Don. Did you feel like the singles were kind of the same thing this time where you, you kind of had just had open reign and could walk around, do what you want and get the position your team wanted? Um, I don't remember taking that many solos this time around. But Honestly, I was... I was yeah. taking a lot more Ubers than I typically do. Because Red Coat is a hog. I think and... on Sunshine, it was kind of like you would start the single and then it went so well that you could bring Red Coat in, it seemed like. Yeah, that's probably it too. I can't really remember them. I know there was one where I singled into last and I could have killed a sniper and I could have killed a scout, but I just beefed. And we ended up winning that fight anyway, though, I think. But I was a bit sad. Was that the same one where you ran in and came out with still a buff? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Maybe. Well, it was Ubered, so I'd hope so. No, you, like, ran in and then, like, loud left you, like, five seconds later and you, like, ran out of last still in, like, 140 uh, health. Lau? No, nah, Lau stayed in with me pretty long. And it was lucky that he st stayed alive, to be honest. Do you guys feel like today was kind of more more closer to your top level potential compared to last time, or do you, do you think Butterfly Effect didn't really live up to the occasion? I actually think it's um the second during spins they were a lot more aggressive, a lot more like soldier dominant, just like in our faces. But we felt like we had a lot more room to work with tonight, especially on mids. Like Ray was fair. saying, he didn't yeah. get pressured as much as he normally did. To be fair, we did change some things that we were doing, just like little positioning things and like with tracking their soldiers and stuff like that. And um, I think that ultimately helped us a lot on mid. Like their soldier bombs were sometimes getting loud, but I was pretty much always like surviving. And then I, like after that, they would just have like huge player disad and we just clean them up and uh, win. We have a rider now. How are you going, buddy? I'm going well, man. Yourself? Pretty good, yeah. Now that we have the real team carry in, can we uh, get your thoughts on how the game went and why you're better than Cookie and Redcoat, right? And why you, you and you all led the team to victory? Well, I think Soldier is just, you know, the unappreciated class. And I think, you know, like, Soldiers are just not, you know, that, like, it takes more of a, more brain and skill overall to play those two classes. So, like, even doing half well in those games just shows that you're the best player on the team. Fair enough, mate. Do, do you think you and Yule did kind of anything special on the mids? Like, especially kind of Sunshine, where every mid kind of ended up being a shit fight. But <laughs> even though you guys kind of did the same mirror mids, your team came out in front. Do you think it's I mean, anything <laughs> Yule and you did, or you're just better? Yeah, well, Yule was really, really, like, well getting onto uh, Moop, but I'm pretty sure, like, four rounds in, I was going, like, three kills for 15 deaths or something like that on Sunshine. So I don't think I was really doing much on mids apart from pulling attention. Um, yeah. I, I think you'll kind of fucking pull through on Sunshine compared to me. So I thought I played well overall, but like, yeah. On mids, definitely you'll uh, stepped up. Probably less bait jumps needed, I would say. Yeah, he just waddles behind his team. He called me shit. Oh, I meant you bait jumping, but uh, okay, mate. And yeah, yeah, any... True. Any questions from our Frozone or Essence? Do you guys have any thoughts or you want to pick the minds of these top Premier gamers? Oh yeah, what was your... Th like, why did you guys pick, um... What's that map? Products? Because more often than not, you never want to, like... Like, you always hear, like, these underdog teams... Or not, not underdog, but, like, less favoured teams come into it and you're, like, kind of scared of the chaos. We're fucking insane at product. Sorry, I'm just swears. I'm just really confident on product to be honest. It's like probably my my next best map after um, Snake and Gully. So I just picked that because like we have better scouts like by far and and I yeah I'm also very confident on it. So I just thought we'd win since those classes are usually what makes um, product. I think I've got an unpopular Roma opinion. It's probably my second favorite map to to roam on as well. So. I really enjoy it. Because the pogo. What do you mean, mate? It's just epic. It's just epic all around. There's no, no, Fair nothing enough. wrong with the map. After Granary, obviously, like Granary's the best. But uh, do you feel like? Did you feel a bit like nervous when Ray switched over to Sniper, and he was just like, obviously, like at the start they weren't really playing um, cohesively with Ray's on sniping, but um, 
they started to like death ball a bit later and that's when he started to hit a fair bit of shots. Do you feel like uh, a bit worried like when he was doing that? And if you did, like how did you counteract that? We didn't just really. got soldiers onto him. I don't think anybody, apart from maybe like the less experienced players, like maybe Lau kind of um, made a few like, mis- like a few small mistakes. Lau, but like, Lau did the pulse in, as I they think- say. I think we did it correctly, like dealt with it correctly. And I mean, sniping is not the way on Viaduct anyway. If you snipe, then you don't actually know how to play the map. That's yeah, we like, were just. That's an excuse we just, for being bad at Viaduct. Essentially, just trying to abuse flanks and get people behind and onto the sniper and stuff. And yeah, ultimately, we won. There were like a couple of situations where like their med got out and I don't know, the Ubers weren't really tracked. So we ended up getting Ubered on and lost our med. But like in the end, like better players, we just won. Fair enough. Any other questions, boys? We 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 have a question for Cookie from chat. Uh Cookie, why have you from Inkrangewit Bird, if you know who that is, he's asking, why have you chosen Chihuahuas as your preferred sexual partner? Oh my god. Um No comment. No comment. Bit of a cop out, mate. Uh there's a uh, question in chat from Lay underscore Keish, who says, "Ask Cookie what his thoughts are on getting carried by Redcoat, <laughs> and and why he is here to make an impact on his own." Are you serious? I turned Redcoat into the player he is today. <laughs> That's completely incorrect. Cookie wouldn't even be playing the game if it weren't for me. What are you talking about, mate? You quit the game, and I'm the one that made you play again. I was always coming back. Nah. Oh, well. This is the Yeah, you went out and fucking messaged like Smoglet and stuff like that. People have never played in years. And you got Cookie. Descended into a bit of chaos. So I think we'll get to shout outs before because we, we sadly don't have any awards, but these guys probably wouldn't have won any anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we'll uh, get to Cookie with his shout outs. Oh, um, shout out to everybody watching, you guys for stepping in and casting. Essence, the surprise analyst. Love to see it. Good job, mate. Um, shout out to Justin and Scotty. I think that's it. Oh, and um, Vanquish's circle joke. Sorry, I mean Paulson's circle joke now. Thanks, mate. Uh, I'll shout out my co-casters. Thanks, boys, for uh, actually turning up and not falling asleep. That's uh, Dig It Dreamboat, if you guys didn't realise. If you meant to cast, fell asleep again. And uh, shout out Vana. Sam and uh, Silvo for his caster feedback. We'll be uh, sharing it with Essence and uh, Ivan after the game, boys, so be prepared. Essence? Uh, shout out to Ghost and um, all 14-year-old Asians in the community. Ivan? Yeah, are you out for the hunt or something, Essence? Nah, I'm just a uh, big fan. This isn't fucking question time, Ivan. Do your shout-outs. Shout-out to Pause. And that's it. Red coat. Uh, shout out to Sam. Shout out to Yodi. Um, shout out to Elmo. Thanks. Bro. Um, yeah. That it. Right. Uh, shout out to the Handsome Frogs Discord and shout out to Talk. Uh, New Jules is fat. Ah, uh, thermite. Ah, oh, you're muted. Well, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. That's the, uh, unless anyone wants to add any other dumb comments, that's the end of the Premier Grand Final where Coffee Clock were able to prevail 3 nil. a butterfly effect. So that's the end of Season 25 for Prem. I think, is there an open Grand Final going to be casted or anything? Because Inter was yesterday. So that that might be happening. So watch out for that. And I'm uh, assuming awards will be uh, announced soon, and uh, probably deets on next season, hopefully. But uh, good night for for now, everyone, and we'll see you for open or next season. Bye.